Check out some penguins. This in the penguin section, you have like a penguin conservation center. We can sit out of the sh in the shade and watch a movie about penguins, and it gives you some cool facts. But what you really want to see is the cool penguins themselves, which is right over here. Where those people are. Go check it out. I always like penguins. You know, they always remind me of the second Batman movie with Michael Keaton. He goes up against penguins. Very cool looking animal. And there's different kinds of penguins. It makes you keep that in mind. Gonna head down to the Safari Africa section, which is, if I remember correctly, is where they have the bigger animals like the um, elephants. Pretty cool. All right, I'll show you them when I get there. Feeding them. Um, so they're insectivores, so in the wild they'd be eating um, bugs and small rodents. So here um, we feed them a variety of things. They get some vegetables, um, carrots, tomatoes, and bananas. They also eat um, meat, so this is a meatball consistency. They eat mice, chicks, fish. Um, they get an insectivore grain diet. And then for enrichment, they get like mealworms, waxworms, crickets. Mm -hmm. All the good cool. stuff. 
So this is Kafu. She's our oldest female. She's the mom um, to their five kids over there. So I'm just making sure she's getting enough food. Um, she doesn't really fight for her food anymore. And how old is she? Um, she will be 16 on June 1st. So that's a little bit over her life expectancy. So I'm just trying to make her make sure she has all the right nutrients. How long do they usually live to? Um, so like 12, 13. Her kids are around 10 and 11, so we have a pretty geriatric meerkat manor here. And then all the tunnels you see, um, they dug them themselves. It goes down about five feet to a concrete barrier. Um, it's just clay and, oops, sorry. <laughs> and they dig them all themselves. And it's kind of like your house, so they have a place where they use the bathroom, they have a place they store food, and then they just you live in all the other rooms. They still have meat over here. <laughs> just be a bit neat. Yeah. Hi. Isn't that for you? Just for your mom. Me and veggies, like. Do they eat good biscuits? <laughs> Oh, what's that you're feeding him? Oh, that's a chopped up mouse right there. Just trying to get him out of mom's face. You can ask about the hibiscus. Mm -hmm. Do they eat hibiscus? Hmm? She wants to know, do they eat hibiscus? Um, no, they don't eat plants or flowers. Um, hi everybody. Yeah, they still have snacks over here. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they got a super cool water bottle over here. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, yeah. Staying hydrated. <laughs> Why are you so hungry? You're never just hungry. She's like, I know I ate this morning, but now it's not. Yeah, she ate a full bowl from me this morning, too. How's your nanner? Oh, they said. She you want me, you want me to repeat it here? She, um, she didn't hear what you said about how old they are. Can you just... Um, um, she's about... She'll be 16 on June 1st. Um, and then all her children are around 10 and 11 years old. So we have a pretty old meerkat manor here. Here's another favorite animal of mine. The giraffes. Look how beautiful they are. Makes me so angry when you see stories about how some people will kill them in the wild. Some of it just for no reason, just to hunt them, which is evil, I think. I remember hearing about this zoo someplace in Europe. They had too many giraffes and some other large animals, so they put them all down. That really pissed me off. Just think about it, there's not a lot of large animals left in the planet. There's not going to be any new kinds for a long, long time, if ever, so we got to take care of what we have. That is a big animal. Then there's some um, zebras. Hartman's Mountain Zebras. Let's so say there was one was born back in July 6th last year. I actually uh, did the zebra encounter, which is over there, where I found him. I filmed that, if you want to check out the channel, my um, playlist for it, I mean. And you can see the elephants in the distance. This is where I'm heading to next. There's just so much here, I'm only going to be able to show a little bit at a time. Beautiful animals. Yeah, and I got to feed him my picture with him. I actually got to, you're not supposed to touch him, but I kind of touched the lower lip. Sort of on purpose, but sort of accidentally. Actually quite soft. All right, let's see if we can get a good view of the elephants next. Here's where you went to for the giraffe feeding. <coughs> I think it's $5 per feeding experience, and they'll take your picture. And it's open now, but I'm not gonna do it now. I, like I said, I did it before. I'll do it again eventually, but I really want to do the rhinos or something like that next whenever I do it. We'll open to 10.30. Beautiful day today. Just see an elephant. Right there. Let's see if I get a better view. 
Looks like they're giving them some fresh hay. See that ride over there? You can actually ride that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that today, but they take you through this section, which is pretty cool. And when I do, I'll definitely film it. Here, we're also coming up on the Rhino Reserve part and in the elephant section, like I said. If I remember correctly, this is the spot where you get to feed the rhinos. It's not happening right now. So here's some of the white rhinos. They're just chilling, they're just resting. Beautiful looking animals. Very big animals. And then of course there's some zebras in there with them. There's a couple of them. There's some more over there. I see at least four, maybe more. And here, well, I know I, it's been a while since I've been back here. I normally check out the other rhinos, which is more up in front. And I want to show you this. Now, I actually filmed this once, and I have it in its own video, I think. So this is the type of crate they use to transport an elephant. Elephant transport crate. And more than likely, this was this is a used crate, so there was an elephant in here at one time. Yeah, this is kind of deteriorated from the last time I've been here. It's getting really rusty. They really should try taking care of this, maybe paint it. Yeah, the elephant's staying pretty distant. Okay. I've seen them where they were right down in here in the water and everything before. Maybe it's feeding time or something. It's a beautiful area though. That's a Galapagos tortoise. He's huge. And right next to him, well here's the sign for him. Right next to him is the Aldebra tortoise. Looking pretty cool. They're resting right now. There's one in the water. Yeah, be careful with tortoises and, sh and water. It has to be very shallow as they can drown. And here's some juvenile Galapagos tortoises. Look how cute they are. One day I'm going to get a tortoise. Not this kind. I don't, legally you can't. I don't think you can get these kind. But I don't like one of the red foot ones because they actually stay small where most tortoises they get really big and uh now nah, a smaller one would be for me all right well that's just a little quick trip i did today at lottery park too i didn't film everything i did and there's still a lot of parts i didn't get to today uh it's a pretty big size zoo so there's a lot to see a lot of cool animal experience a lot of cool animals to see but i'm definitely gonna i promise i'm gonna come back here soon again and film more stuff to show you, but there's a lot of cool stuff here, and you ever get a chance to stop at, uh, well, I, I'm going to keep referring to it as Lolly Park Zoo, but the name now is, but they changed it, um, Zoo Tampa of Lowry Park, I think it's called, and I don't know, I, I like the old name better. Any comments, questions, put them below, and please check out my channel. I do a lot of um, uh, food review videos, restaurant review videos. I actually did a restaurant review video of one of the restaurants here at the zoo. I do touristy stuff like Disney, zoos, it's animal related stuff. I also do um, abandoned places, historical places, you know, museums, a whole boatload of different things. So I, I, I do a lot of big variety in my channel. There you can see me better that. Yeah, there you can see me better. So um, please check out my channel if you like it. Please subscribe. Thanks um, for watching and um, I look forward to seeing everyone here on YouTube again. Bye everybody, bye.